In Wynn, Arkansas, the high school gymnasium was converted into a shelter, offering cots and hot meals to hundreds of displaced families, local businesses and grocery stores, even those damaged in the storms, donated food and supplies to support recovery operations. Officials from the National Weather Service continued surveying the tornado paths, using drone footage and satellite imagery to map damage tracks that stretch for more than 100 miles in some cases. In Illinois and Indiana, meteorologists confirmed several long track tornadoes, with wind speeds reaching up to 170 miles per hour. The extent of the destruction led to multiple tornadoes being classified as EF4 on the enhanced Fujita scale, indicating devastating winds and widespread structural failure. FEMA teams worked with state and local governments to assess damages and process aid applications. Temporary housing was arranged for those who had lost their homes, with federal assistance covering hotels and short-term rentals.